Hi, it's David Phelps from Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. Too many people focus on what I call current income, trading time for dollars, working in a, in a business, a job, a profession, a practice, and creating that revenue, transactional income. Look, we all have to start there. We all had jobs when we were growing up. We wanted to buy stuff. I know I did. I threw newspapers. I mowed lawns. I sold greeting cards. That's transactional income, and that's what we're taught to do in school. We're taught to to get a skill, to get an education, so you can get some kind of a job. And and if you want to be bigger than that, bolder, you get, go into a business. You, you have your business, your practice, whatever it is. That's kind of been the American dream. And people will tell you that the more skill sets you get, the more licenses you get, the more expertise you have, the more you can charge for your time. And that's true to a point. It's true to a point. But there's a cap on that. Well, there's a cap on what you can charge for your time, and there's a cap on how many hours there are in a day, week, month, or a year. So you're always capped. And the biggest problem with that kind of income, it's taxed at the highest rates. Yes, taxed at the highest rates. So you, so you're, you're paying ma ma maximum taxes. You're limited on how many hours. And if you want to do better, have more, you've got to just get on the treadmill and just work harder and harder and harder. And that steep slope is getting steeper all the time. Tax rates are going to go up, not down. The ability to create more profit by trading time for dollars is going to get tighter and tighter as, as the years go on. So you've got to change the model. There's nothing wrong with working and working hard. But at some point, you got to work smarter and, and create the freedom in your life that, that everybody wants. The way to do that is through your investments. And I'm not talking about Wall Street investments. If you want to do that, if you've done that, go for it. But you know what, what, what that does. It doesn't get you where you want to go. It's a guessing game. Your financial advisor cannot tell you how much you need to have. They can't even give you predictions on what it's going to be. Jack Bogle, the founder of Vanguard, said a year ago before he passed away, in this next decade, this decade right now, not to expect more than 4 to 5% out of the, out of the market on, on yields, on returns. Well, why? Well, he's smart. He understands all this infrastructure and the economy has been, been, been built on debt. And that debt that the government holds now uh, is going to compete with the private sector. That means companies are not going to have the, the profit margins uh, and the run rates that they had in the previous decade since the 2008 downturn. So you got to get used to a different model. So where do you make it up? You got to go to the inefficient markets, the alternative markets, businesses and real estate, which is harder to do for most people because why? Well, you can't just click a mouse and, and make those investments. You have to have access to people that have the network to go in and, and lead generate to find those deals. And I love it that way because Wall Street can't play on Main Street. They don't know how. It's it's not scalable for them. So it's where it gives us a chance. But you've got to do a little bit of work. You can't just throw your money in a 401k lockbox and call it good and say it's just all going to be fine because it's not. If you really want to change your life and be the hero that you always want to be for your family, your security, and not be having sleepless nights wondering, is it going to be okay? You've got to change your model. Change your model now. Understand that there's people like myself, and I'm not the only one, who has gone forth and made the alternative investment category provide for our plan B cash flow, plan B. You can still have plan A, plan A you can still work, you can still do the things you love to do, but do it on your own terms and don't do it with a scarcity in an afraid mindset about, well, when's the next pandemic? When, when does my health go, go bad and I can't do the things? See, you wanna start creating freedom now, not someday, some magical someday down the road that'll never come. Too many people do that and they live their, their life with regrets. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you and the memories with your family. Be strong. Take a different path. Don't go with the majority. Be a contrarian for once in your life. Step up and find the tribe, the people who have done this and done it well. Proven track record. Not just people that give financial advice and are not free, but people actually are free and show other people the path to gain freedom. That's what I love to do. It's why I get up every day because I know the truth. I know how this works. And if you're that that one or 2% who hears my message and wants to, wants to take advice on that and find out how to do it, you take the next steps. I'll leave that up to you. I hope I get a chance to talk to you. Stay focused on your freedom.